Today I'm changing the transmission fluid on a 2013 Honda Fit Sport. Before getting started, I'll make sure I've got all the tools and products needed. A good shop manual, rags, torque wrench, socket, drain pan, and of course transmission fluid for the specific application. A trouble light and a bag of floor dry to clean up any spills will come in handy as well. The dipstick and fill hole is really tucked in there so a long funnel is needed to reach it. Since it's tucked in there and tight, it's important to make sure a funnel that works is available prior to starting. A long skinny one is best. I don't have one so I'm using a short skinny one and a long one that's not so skinny. Always work safe and seek help from a qualified person if necessary. Never crawl under a vehicle supported by a jack. Work safe. Warm the oil before draining. A few miles of driving will do that. I've run it up about four and a half inches on ramps, just enough to reach the drain plug. It comes out with a standard 3 8 inch square drive. The drain plug is on the front of the transmission so I don't want to raise the front end more than needed to reach the plug since nose up is an unfavorable angle to get the old fluid out. To help drain as much of the old fluid as possible, I have the car backed into the garage so the slope of the floor makes the front of the car a little lower. Because it's backed in, I want to make sure it's backed in far enough so I don't put myself under the garage door. I'll also jack the rear end up a bit to help drain as much of the old fluid as possible. Lifting the rear helps get more of the old oil out. I'll let it drain completely. The plug has a magnet. Any metal material on it should be wiped off. This one was very clean. When it's done draining, I'll clean around the hole and put the plug back in. This has a crush washer similar to the engine plug, only bigger. The old one is in good shape, so I'll reuse it. And besides, I don't have another. It's torqued to 36 foot-pounds. The large puddle is water from the air conditioner. I'll roll the car down off the fancy ramps to refill with new fluid. The fill hole is way down there. The little funnel goes in first. There it is. The larger funnel feeds into the smaller one. It's important to make sure you have a funnel that will reach the fill hole before you drain the old fluid. Each drain and fill takes about two and a half quarts. I'm using AMSOIL Signature Series Fuel Efficient Synthetic Automatic Transmission Fluid, which meets the Honda DW1 specification for this car, as well as many others. The fluid is checked hot. According to the engine manual, shut the engine off and check after 60 seconds, but not more than 90. The drain and fill process is repeated three times. That swaps out about 78% based on the total fill of 6.3 quarts and 2.5 quarts removed and replaced with each drain and fill. Here's how the math works. After the first change, 40% of the fluid has been replaced, 64% after the second change, and 78% after the third. 
The old used oil can go back into the containers it came in, then taken to your recycler. Any spills are cleaned up with some floor dry. For more information on purchasing Amsoil products or to download the latest catalog, check out the links in the description to this video or go to MidwestSynthetic.com. If you liked the video, be sure to give a thumbs up, share, and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.